So this month we've been studying about spring in, in my class and today when I was on my run I came across this bird that kind of sounds like R2-D2. It just has this really funny sound and so the next clip is going to be the bird and it, you can kind of see it. It has, it has a yellow head and like red on top um, and so you just have to listen for it. Alright, and then the other thing that was kind of cool this week is every year I order caterpillars for my kids to watch grow from little eggs all the way to caterpillars, or to butterflies, I mean. And so this week, um, they came out of their cocoons, but it was or their chrysalis, but it was on a Friday, and it was parent-teacher conference, and so I was I kept looking over there to see when they would come out, and one actually came out when one of my girls was there and so I got a little video of um, her reaction to the butterfly having coming out come out and um, so that was pretty cool and then shortly after that um, I was we also have ladybugs I bought this ladybug kit that was the same thing the ladybugs were little eggs and they grew up into ladybugs but this week my kids on the playground have found several ladybugs and so we decided to put them inside this little rainbow or rainbow um, ladybug kit and so, so there was some wild ladybugs in there and one died <laughs> um, but the other one didn't and so on Friday um, I was looking at the ladybugs and I saw ladybug eggs like they're little yellow things and so I'll, there's a picture that I'll put on here um, and it was just really cool um, but then about maybe 10 minutes later my, my assistant teacher looks and they're gone <laughs> so we think what happened is that the other species of ladybug ate the ladybug eggs because they can do that sometimes that's low life cycle apparently but it was really cool and it made me very happy this week to be able to see to see the ladybugs and butterflies come out mm. no no i just don't want to touch them yeah they get hurt. <laughs> <laughs>